I don't know how bad is this, but there is expiration date in the coffee I just opened right now, which mother just brought home. And he also was involved in MK Ultra. There's a very, very provocative ways to, as you see today is March 5th, 2023. But this is like a desperate, a really, really provocative ways to uh, disturb. Uh, this is disturbing stuff. This is the stuff that in a normal life you're just not going to encounter no matter what the fuck you do. No. So I'm going to also see what the date are oh, now. The other package I have already thrown away. Obviously that even this kind of stuff is handy to look at. I'm surprised I just for the first time I look at the expiration date and I saw this this is the stuff basically that's how it goes. No. Today is the first time I was inside of the room right now and I investigated in the computer how to prepare the coffee without the filter because I ran out of filters and this coffee this coffee that mother brought this Santana uh, also I video recorded already today with expiration date with date expired is is fucking in, incredibly a color it's like a color of blood basically inside it's a color that uh, like this coffee here and it's that kind of coffees that I did not even know excuse me to express myself fucking exist really I, I had no fucking idea that the coffees like this exist but this is exactly the coffees they were playing with under MK Ultra. you know let me demonstrate you basically how this coffee looks like this is already one time I uh, removed the bottom uh, let it sit and basically this is what it looks like i really don't like the way it looks like it's already sitting like half an hour uh, and it's still like really really messy thing i'm not used to stuff like this uh, I don't know anything about coffees like this and so I figure out I'm gonna go and filter this without the filter uh, for the coffee you yeah. know and what can I say it does look good it does look good it was recommended on the internet to just use a paper napkin in this case I'm using that one for uh, which is basically to dry oil from uh, you know from the food um, a triple layer uh, and it did the job exceptionally well but the thing about it is I want to video record this stuff because it was a police Slovenian police that would frequently on a regular basis use cloth they were using the cloth and they were using napkins all kinds of napkins to do this kind of stuff inside of the kitchen so it's not going to be a mistake this is my first time i'm fucking doing this that's what i'm using and i want to document this stuff but police was using on a frequent on a regular basis a cloth basically shirts to when they were preparing the coffee for me testing the coffee the impact the coffee will have uh not the coffee but it appears that this shit here the clothing itself will have on me slovenian police novo mesto police investigators yes they have used next to the napkins snaps that kind of stuff they have also used toilet paper whatever they have also used shirts cloth to prepare the coffee inside of this kitchen and based on their findings and it's how I remember, have even insisted me what is good and what is not good and this and that. It was that kind of game that went on. What you can use and what, what you cannot use and what you can use. Well, the thing is that a magic to this stuff, if you're going to use already your shirt, obviously that one should have no detergent inside. 
I figure out is to have a coffee with a, a cooled coffee already, coffee that is already cooled. You should not perform anything like this with a hot coffee because if it's going to be a cloth or if it's going to be, if it's some kind of, it can take the color out and so on. This definitely is not a healthy way to prepare the coffee, I'm sure. Uh, this is just till tomorrow substitution till I get myself filters. But the thing about it is Slovenian police used tablecloths, uh, shirts, this kind of stuff to prepare the coffee inside here, inside of this kitchen. So now when I did this kind of stuff, as a matter of fact, one time I already tried to do it. And the only thing I did was I toast away because I realized it was not the way to do it. However, and luckily for me, I went ahead and I used uh, a shirt, a regular shirt. But luckily for me, I used hot coffee. And it appeared immediately that this was just based on the color, on the coloring uh that was inside the coffee i just threw away and i no longer wanted to have anything to do with what i recalled already police was doing right inside in here inside of this kitchen so since i am doing this today beginning of today as a temporary solution using this i want to video record i want to document this stuff so that i can have okay black and white proof that for the first time in my life I'm doing something like this for me to finish properly this video Slovenian police used clothing to demonstrate me to teach me how to prepare coffee without the filter paper napkins beginning the 2012 that is no less than 17 years into mk ultra butchery what is notable about this part in particular about preparing the coffee with uh, uh, cloth with uh, paper napkins with that kind of stuff What's notable about the crime is that Slovenian interior minister Aleš Hoys, who was involved in this crime since 1995, insisted me that if I ever mention anything like this, the MK Ultra is going to come to a short end. It's going to be it. It's going to be it because it will be considered as a major health hazard. It will be considered as something that it should have never been done on the first place. And the next thing you see is it was British royals, Prince Charles, who hurried to remind about the money issues on how I said, I don't know anything how that's going to be with the money and this and that. If you're going to start talking about police demonstrating you on how to prepare the coffee through the use of napkins, uh, cloth and so on. Well, God knows what else the fuck. I got during MK Ultra from British alone who hired this police investigator, who hired this Slovenian police, who hired Slovenian state for this crime. British royals who hired police force, Slovenian police force to degree they were literally more than willing to throw themselves under the truck for them basically have created slovenian police 
suicidal police force, basically police that have committed itself through the postal services and so on to continuous suicidal crime. For whatever reason, British, uh, Germans have offered them. These police officers have compromised not only careers, but entire police law enforcement here in Slovenia with their actions. They absolutely have failed one. They have failed police throughout the world with their criminal, beyond criminal actions. And indifferent from what I stated, including the Slovenian parliament beginning in 1995, absolutely everybody knew about the coffee being prepared also. They were using one, uh, they, they were using cloth, pieces of cloth and napkins and stuff like this. Absolutely everything new, everybody knew about this crime in particular when it comes to the health hazard. Health hazard is located in Berlin and in London. They're the people who hired these Slovenian assassins to perform the job. It's very, very important for me to action that it was British who were like a hawks, like if you will be talking about this, in other words, they paid for the crime, they financed the crime, the crime was committed, the crime was done, and they wanted the collateral share, they wanted to share the fall, they wanted the collateral fall to be redistributed to the different parties. Why the fuck would you want to do this for? Well, if Britain earned one trillion dollars through trade with Russia, with Iraq, with the countries they plundered during the last 30 years, Slovenia didn't earn even maybe, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to say 1% of that. 5% of that, but when it comes to collateral fault, right? When you hire little Slovenia for it, 2 million people, right? Then it would be distributed disproportionately according to profits they earned in the United States of America, Germany, Netherlands, Holland, I should say, United Kingdom or Great Britain, if you like, Sweden and so on and so forth. You get you get the point. You understand what, how this crime disproportionately the British tried to blew out of proportions to settle the differences basically the way they want. Yeah, well, British were behind this crime too. When all this started, Slovenian state insisted. Slovenian state officials in 1995 insisted animosities in front of me toward British, toward Germans, toward Americans. And those demonstrated in Slovenia also, whenever I was hijacked from Miami. A hijacking from Miami went on for 11 and a half years. 11 and a half years from Miami, I was hijacked beginning in 1995 to Naomi, right here to this house, to Slovenia. From Miami. Then this butcheries went on for another year and a half. Central Intelligence Agency. Federal Bureau, Bureau investigation covered up for CIA. Also hijackings from other parts of the United States of America, such as Minneapolis area, Minnesota, Chicago area, Chicago basically, and Washington state. They all indicated and a mo enemy and animosity 
animosity toward one another. The thing is, they worked together like this with one another. Slovenia had its trade interests, theft. Country worse than any dictatorship or any communist state or any... It was basically a slavery. It was actually worse than a slavery. slavery. Slaves were allowed to reproduce. Slovenian state went on to murder, basically. They went on into genocide with the idea to leave me at the end broken, with foremost health completely destroyed, annihilated. Beginning, beginning the 1995 and all this stuff was literally sponsored by technology United States of America brought to Slovenia to literally measure the amount of cancer, play with the cancer and stuff like this, through all American technology. West financed the whole thing, British financed the whole thing, Germans financed the whole thing. It was not Slovenia that hijacked me for 11 and a half years from Miami, United States of America, from Florida. It was completely indifferent with the crime in respect to coffee. They hired these Slovenian police officers like you go to the store, buy yourself bananas. I had another comment I'm gonna, I was going to say. Um... I feel it's inappropriate because it doesn't depict my views and unfortunately I became a victim of this insane views brainwash I should say MK Ultra under MK Ultra way too much but still I'm gonna put it this way but Joe Harris was a manager at Bremen Cadillac in, in Miami, and along Brickell Avenue, close to Miami downtown. His name was Joe Harris. He was involved in MKH as well. And if he'd, he wouldn't have used that poor choice of words, uh, which, of course, he deliberately did and did so with the full permission of Israeli state, which was involved in it. They all worked together with one another. There was no, there was no excuse for a single one of them to go on about the stuff like this. If he wouldn't have used uh, the word Jews during my work at Bremen Cadillac where I was selling cars and he came in my face and stated that Jews came to Slovenia and bought entire Slovenia uh, for a, in a sense I filed complaint with Equal Employment Opportunity in Miami downtown for that reason on Flagler Street. On Flagler Street. For, uh, how do you say that in English? Fist full of dollars, hand full of, you know, for a little money that they bought Slovenia. If he wouldn't have used that poor choice, not only I would not report one to equal employment opportunity, and if he would have used instead of Jews, if he would have used British Americans, um, and you know, it was used under MK Ultra to brainwash me, to poison my mind with the Jew, Jews, Jews, Jews. They say anti Semitism, no. 
this was business. MK Ultra was a business. And it was in no interest from anybody that I would manage to bring this case to the end. Israel had their own calculator involving it, their own trade through which they have earned enormous amounts of money selling weaponry foremost in return for diamonds, oil, trade. Literally through this case, I was used not as a slave, as I stated earlier, but just as a, a commodity too, like a human commodity is just out there that you fucking use it and you dispose that in the trash bin, basically. Those way. Actually, observe how he is struggling to die. If he wouldn't have used that poor choice of words, Jews, not only I would never report one to equal opportunity employment uh, I would have been thankful to him if he would have witnessed instead uh, in states hey man it's British literally it's us Americans who plundered in your country you it was us who purchased your Slovenian police. It was us who purchased Slovenian healthcare system. It was us who paid them to butcher you. It would make the whole difference in this world. Yet, Joe Harris used the poor choice of words and also exited this way MK Ultra. Unfortunately, also. One of the people who managed to pull me behind into anti-Semitism issues further down the road, making things more impossible foremost during MK Ultra. This was a whole MK Ultra. In real life, none of this stuff anywhere. Uh, but MK Ultra can be brought up to surface, especially if you are a subject to a torture like I was for no less than 26 years, two, six years. British, uh, this is just a uh, kill for hire. They look for governments. They don't deal with a pity. Um, well, actually, if it's big enough and if it's interest, like, for instance, Andrew Tete was for that reason in Romania. He was the one who collected the information about the Balkan Mafia. He was the one who gathered the information for the British. He had that call center that the Romanian government realized was not really a sex center and stuff like this. There was espionage going on. He wanted to broker for British royals people that did shady deals and were big enough to do business with on sort of government level bypassing government they look for it throughout the world 24 7 and slovenia did not fall them in trap slovenia is a rotten country it always was a rotten country but this is just a matter of fact and case that also applies to coffee in 2012 beginning in 2009 british royals were the most desperate people involved in mk ultra doing absolutely everything possible would have done anything possible to get me killed basically to get rid of me they have a lot of reasons to worry about they complain to me about losing even sleep because of me but not because they wanted to help. Everything was done in the name of help. Everything I stated in the website was in the name of help. So to help you, Bobby, it's in the name of help. But that's how British murder 
That's how Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, Windsors, Battenbergers, Mount Buttons. Mount Button or Buttons? Mount Button. Berlin, Germany. That's how they murder. That's how that's done. 